Where is it? 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 Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Give it to me. Where is it? Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Yes. In the first episode, I explained who is the inspiration for this next product that I'm making, the Kickstarter that I'm launching soon. It's not even similar to this thing, but the fact that he makes this in-house, you know, with his Tormac, I believe, and it's a great product. I already bought something from him, but this is my last acquisition, and I can't wait to open it. Happy holiday and happy new year. This came so late. I hate buying something and then it takes so much to, uh, yeah. I'm gonna open the small one first. I feel like the camera should be where that light is. This is exactly what I'm hoping to achieve with this next product. You know, the anticipation, you know, when, when you open something like that, that you know it has a history and... <sighs> Dude, this is so freaking awesome with custom logo as well. You don't know what it is yet, right? Wait. This is amazing. I want to open the big one. This is just awesome. I don't know if he's still making this. I hope so, but I'll put his link in the description for his Instagram so you can find out yourself. Thank you so much. This is really inspiring. This dovetails actually very well with segment that I want to do because I've seen other YouTubers doing it and it's for some reason very interesting to me, which is favorite things for 2019. But I want to do it not for the very favorite, but uh, wait a second. Would you look at that? Okay, before I talk about what are my favorite things for 2019, I wanna tell you how I determine why they are my favorite things. Because ultimately it's things that inspire me. But then I went ahead and tried to figure out what are the elements make something inspiring for me. And I think I found four different things. First one is done differently. A great example for explaining this, it's the cyber truck. Like that thing doesn't look like any other truck on the market. And you can either hate it or love it. There's not like in between, like you cannot not notice it. You can't not have an opinion on it. And normally it's like at the very end of the spectrum, both ways, like you either really hate it and you think it's stupid and you're really loud about it or you really love it because it's like nothing else. So that's something I really like. By the way, I should put the Cybertruck in my favorite things, even though I don't have it, no one has it, but I will because it's awesome. Second thing is the experience. And it's not really what you experience while you're using it or while you open the box or you know the packaging and everything. For me, the experience is what you remember about it. So when you use something and you probably don't remember the specifics, like you don't remember the packaging or you know the experience you have while you're using it, but when you're not using it or you don't even have it, what you remember that is the experience that you remember and if that is great then the experience it's fine for me it's what I'm really looking for hard behind it this is something I really appreciate and I think this is the element the, I'm a super Apple fanboy but I really believe that this is what missing at Apple now because when Steve Jobs was there I was watching like every interview and you know behind the scene I couldn't find you could really see how much he cared beyond all kind of money in the world like you could see he really put his heart in what he was doing and it was very vocal and energetic about what it was doing and you could see it in the products now 
you still can, but in a different way. I, I really miss that feeling from Apple, to be honest. But yeah, this is another aspect. And the last, of course, it's functionality. This is what separates the first three from like a piece of art and an actual product. If you only have this first three, then I guess you can describe art piece, like a painting or uh, something. But if you have functionality, something that you can use it and, you know, use it for a reason, then you have a great product, in my opinion. So let's go with the first product. First product is my shoes. I'm not even kidding. Like, these are called All Birds. I don't have a logo that I can show you, kinda nasty. But I am never, never gonna use other shoes. This is the best shoe ever made. And it has all these things, like it's done differently, it, the experience is amazing. Like it's, I was in China at like 40 degrees and in, in the mountain with snow and everything. It felt like I had nothing in my feet. It's like seriously, I'm not sponsored on anything, but these are just the ultimate shoes. Like I don't wanna have any other shoes. I have a goal in life that is like, I wanna kinda have a uniform. Like, you know, I'm just gonna buy like 20 of the same things and I don't even think about what I should put on. I just put those things. So far I just found the shoes. I'm gonna find all the rest. Otherwise I'll make it. Hard behind it. Like watch a couple of uh, interview of the guy who made it, like the story behind this and how he chosen the material, you know, all that thing. It's really in inspiring. And then you can really feel it. And it it's amazing. Functionality. Uh, I said enough. So, all birds first. The Dyson lamp. I think this has a name I can remember. Light cycle. Dyson light cycle. First, done differently. This looks more like a 3D printer than a lamp. Functionality. It is very satisfying to use. Like, you can put it anywhere you want and it's very nice. I can show you the light that it makes and also it, it wouldn't translate in video, but you can choose color, temperature, intensity. You can decide that it lights up when it sees you, all that crap. I don't care too much about that, but I really, well, the temperature, yes, it's amazing. But just how it looks, and then it has a USB-C charger. When I use it like to read, uh, I think it, it sees like the ambient light and it makes it like based on your age, the perfect light to read. It might be crap completely, but you know, they went the step further to make, you know, think about all the things then you do with a lamp and then try to make it the best they can and this is also inexpensive i love it it's gonna be in my desk in my future office okay very close to the end this this is a brown calculator designed by dieter ram right now if you don't know who he is dieter rams no wait dieter dieter rams Stop now, Google him. And all these things that I talked about, you can see it in every product that he designed. This, by the way, this calculator, it's pretty old. It's what also inspired the first calculator in the iPhone, you know, the color scheme. If it doesn't look different to you, it's just because they made the same in the iPhone. And this is awesome, like just having it on my desk, it reminds me of everything that Dieteram stands for, one of my favorite designs. I also have the white one, I don't like it as much, but I have them both like close to each other it's it's just you know this kind of things you know good design and nice product that inspire you it's it's really nice to have around it's like it's completely different you can have probably a calculator that it's like one euro but and you can do the same exact things probably even better but it doesn't speak to you mostly when you are in a creative environment like you create things and you want to have your brain you know always active and th this is the kind of stuff that i need around me like that light 500 euro probably more for that thing the Dyson light you can buy a f LED lamp attach it to a cord and it works just as nice but it's not the same last but not least it's a book I know what you're thinking Ugh! but if you are making anything like in your life you want to read this book or at least like having it like th the good thing about this book is that you can have it on your desk or you know bed table or whatever you just open it where you want and you're gonna have a really nice experience and you're gonna learn things. So let's see, done differently. Well, it's a book, but how it's written, it's completely different. It explains like structures. So why things don't fall down. This is basically a book about physics and all that super boring things, but the way this is written, it's really engaging. And it's so nice to read it. You, you just read it like a, 
a novel, but it teaches you things that you probably know already, but he puts it in a way, mm, I love this book. I really love this book. All the other thing, I mean, functionality, I guess, it's things you learn, which is pretty important. So, these are my favorite things for 2019. Probably some of this stuff, like this is super old, it's 19 for me, probably this book is also pretty old, whatever. Now it's tea time.